Great news, ladies and gentlemen, especially the lovely people of Wales as the leader of Plaid Cymru, Adam Price, has officially resigned. Oh, what a lovely day. Okay, we had some good news and other stories about other issues, but this is actually about what's going on in Wales. Uh, the, the leader of the Plaid Cymru establishment, uh, Adam Price, uh, has uh, been forced to resign. Goodbye, Mr. Price. This was following all the uh, allegations about misconduct and harassment in his party uh, that wasn't really addressed, but also all the other issues and scandals around the whole of the establishment in Wales. And um, we've been focusing way too much on the Welsh Labour Party, Labour government and Mark Drakeford, rightly so. Uh, but let's not forget about the Welsh nationalists who don't even know what they stand for anymore these days because the <laughs> this is not really the consensus in Wales. So we have the issues with the, the, the socialist wings of whether it's the Welsh Labour Party or Plaid Cymru who just want to completely control Wales and have a have their own socialist utopia, a mini Venezuela, if you will. And uh, that doesn't really help. But when they resigned, as uh, Hillary Clinton said once, <laughs> no, I think it was uh, Michelle Obama said, when they go low, we go high. What they do is when they go low, they go lower. So they got members of the Senate uh, who are trying to uh, basically control the narrative. So they've been interviewed, a number of them. The group leader, for example, uh, declined to offer his support for Price. Uh, but when he, when he was asked, OK, it, it, is, this, is this leader going to actually stay around? Is he going to resign immediately? Is he going to be here next week, next month? Well, they, they can't really say anything. All they're saying is, for example, I'm not going to en enter into gossip of that sort. You cannot pin this... And on one solitary single person, this is a much wider corporate issue. Oh, okay, that Plaid Cymru is grappling. It's not really though, is it? Because when it comes to toxic cultures in political parties, whether it's the SNP or Plaid Cymru in Wales, you have leadership, you have management, you've got the executives. For example, you had Peter Morrill in Scotland being literally in charge of the SNP. You have to take responsibility. All these accusations around you guys. You didn't do anything about it. And now you're still blaming everybody else. And we're sick and tired of it. So when you have, obviously, Adam Price and the party just a few days ago coming out say, okay, now that we've been caught, we have to apologize. So they sent out this fake apology to the media saying, well, we apologize for, for any unacceptable behavior. After the report confirmed that they, these guys failed to implement the zero tolerance approach when it came to harassment. Why did you have to wait for the report to fully confirm this? You knew what was happening. We knew what was happening. Everybody knew what was happening. You should have apologized, but not just apologize. I don't really care about apologies. I care about you to stop doing that. Just, just be normal. Is it too hard for us to ask from the political class to be like normal human beings? <laughs> Apparently not. They can't really do that. So. This is the, the latest update on that issue, but they're trying to change the narrative. So, Plaid Cymru, they're getting their MPs to brief the media to change the narrative, to basically say, let's basically talk about something else. They've come out with a new proposal to say that the Crown State should be um, given to the devolved administrations. They want... <laughs> so they want basically powers, devolution powers, more devolution powers, uh, to control the crown state uh, properties um, we're not really sure what they will actually do with them but we know exactly because these people are complete left-wing republicans they simply want to destroy every part of the constitution bit by bit so they might start with the, with the properties of the crown state and they're going to go to the next one they're going to go to this they're going to change the flag they're going to change the language until they completely change the system Luckily for us, nobody cares about Plaid Cymru. They don't have any power. They have no voice. Nobody actually cares about what they say, even in Wales, because they, they, the support that they've been receiving has been going down and down. Although the Welsh Labour Party uh, showing their incompetence every day doesn't really help the narrative, but I don't think that Wales will be lost. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.